Hello and welcome to this little technical video. Now the reason I'm doing this is because I've lost track of how many times people have asked me have we got electricity on the allotments because people see me plugging into this little box here behind me I plug my lawnmower in there and so they assume we've got electricity but no there is no electricity on the allotments and also I don't use a generator. The uh, How I get electricity down here is through what's called an inverter. So I shall explain that in just a moment. Okay, so what you need to get the electricity down here on the allotment is an inverter. This is an inverter, 350 watts to about 1,000 watts, I believe they are. Um, I don't think you can get much above 1,000. A lot depends on what you're going to use. Now, my lawnmower is 350 watts, so obviously a 600 watt inverter is ample. An heavy duty car battery. Um, you can run them off your, your car battery itself, but I don't suggest you do that because you can quite easily flatten the car battery, as I've done myself twice down here in the early days. So I always bring a charge battery down with me uh, and the inverter. And the inverter connects onto the car battery with the two leads. There's a 13 amp socket, which I've fled into a, fed into a cable rear widget because you could use anywhere on the allotment. And as long as you don't exceed the wattage of the inverter, then everything comes along quite nicely. And um, usually I can cut all the grass down here. And I've, I've got various, sometimes in the winter lights on in the shed, um, different other devices, low wattage, of course. And uh, this stands up quite nicely. So I couldn't give you a price for this. Heavy duty battery are not cheap. Inverters, I can't even remember how much cost, but I think the whole lot is cheaper than buying a good quality generator. So it's really a question of working out what you're going to use and what the wattage is going to be. If it doesn't exceed the inverter you've got, you're fine. Okay, well just for convenience, I have my battery in here, as you can see, connected to the um, inverter, and then the inverter, the electricity from the inverter goes into this switch panel here that you can see, and uh, I've got a double power point there, I've got a switch to the light, uh, I've got uh, several power points in my main shed and then of course a cable runs on the ground down to the box where you see uh, or where people see me plug the mower in. So that's it, I hope now everybody can understand when they see me plug electric mower into a box down there and I've got electric, uh, it would be handy if there was electric laid on down here on the allotments would be wonderful but there isn't so it's either a generator or this sort of setup that you've just seen here. 